This participatory action research project started in Thailand and moved to China. It aimed to address the local teaching population as a potential innovation hub within international schools and design a new way to move forward in equity. I asked the question, how can the relationships between locally hired and internationally hired employees in international school settings be more reciprocal, diminish marginalization, and lead to more equitable working environments? This specific study worked not only to advocate for social equity, but also leveraged the tools of design thinking and coaching in order to action change. The PAR was underpinned by the collaboration between researchers and practitioners to design, test, and reiterate pragmatic solutions to issues. Under the canopy of the Community Learning Exchange, I used interviews, observations, and the collection of artifacts to gather a rich selection of data to analyze. In my mind, though, the real success of, a, of this project was my own leadership development. By doing small things, such as rotating who sent emails, uh, who led staff meetings, or even by where we sat or how high we sat within our meetings, uh, the ownership of the Community Learning Exchange shifted from mine to ours. The best way to show that this project really did become a distributive model of leadership is not by listening to me, um, but by listening to other co-practitioner researchers. She was working on her doctorate, and her doctorate was around equity for local staff members of international schools. Um, at the same time, I was developing a more regular teacher training program for inclusive learning, about how to, how to upskill our staff to be able to support the needs of diverse learners. And so we sort of morphed the two, her doctorate research and then the inclusive learning work together, and we formed learning exchanges that are occurring every Monday at 3.30 to 4.30. Um, and it's a chance for us to get together as a community to learn with one another. So learning exchanges, the topics that we cover are oftentimes um, based upon the spoken desires of our community members. So I need to understand how to better teach reading to my struggling readers um, or I'm struggling with behavior management. So there's a, a discrete skill track that we do um, which is responsive to the needs of our community members. And then there's also an equity, an equity track where we're working on um, how we build the communication between staff members and how we build our collaborative and respectful discourse so that we can really work cohesively to meet the needs of our students. So we're seeing. Mm, I think first of all, it creates a free, uh, platform of free uh, PD and uh, in another way it also like building a bridge between the local staff and overseas staff. So it, pro it, it also um, increase the confidence of the local staff and it gives our opportunity for overseas staff to view the resources around them. It gives me a greater personal understanding of equity and uh, to know the work of you are doing and uh, encourage me to be a warrior of equity. <laughs>